Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Moreno Boxing TV. I'm your host, Carlos Moreno, and I'm back with my boy, Mr. Arirovid. And you know what it is, we're getting ready to bo -bo -bo boxing. So today, as part of the new TIB drills tutorial series, I'm going to introduce to you guys something that's quite cool. It's called the stick drill, yeah? Many of you guys, this is quite a modern way of training. Some people like everything new, some people are gonna criticize it, some people are not gonna to wanna to use it, they're gonna try and knock it, but we know what it's about. There's no right or wrong way to do anything, it's all relative, okay? Thank you Einstein for the relativity field there. So you've got the stick there, you just push it. From the end, it's got this contraption, the little mechanism, you just push it. So it's supposed to be simulating punches. It's gonna simulate a jab, or across, and my job is to deal with it. I'm going to implement the three different types of defense. What are they? Feet defense, hand defense, and head defense. So let's start with the feet defense. I advise you guys to first start out going to the body first, just so you can get used to how hard it, how this can hit and the speed, etc. So Aaron's gonna start targeting the body, okay, so there's less danger. And now, let's say I'm doing head defense, but my opponent's going to the body. If I move my head, I'm still going to get hit. So the best defense that you're going to be using when you're trying to protect the body is going to be hand defense, you're going to be parrying, shouldering, forearms, or you're going to be moving your feet. So let's start out with some footwork. So I'm just trying to hit me, and I'm stepping away. Step, step, and I'm using my hands to parry, okay? So as I go to my left, I parry with my left hand. As I go to my right, I parry with my right. So do it this angle again, so left, right. You don't want to over parry. So you don't want to be doing that and trying to knock it away because when you over commit, he might send a fake. Send a fake, I over commit with a parry, boom, I get hit. So to the body again, I can parry on the inside, like this as well, yeah? So an outside parry comes from here, inside parry comes from inside, yeah, and you lower your hand a little bit, yeah? So again, inside parry, inside parry, outside parry, outside parry. Okay, so inside, outside. Okay, I'm moving my feet and combining the flex. Okay, there, 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 move it, sit, Sometimes, if you're not sure, if you missed the opportunity, you can just tuck up and just block, yeah? The block, yeah, so underrated defense. Keep your high guard, it can set up counter shots, okay? Next defense, we're gonna implement now, we're gonna do head, okay? Aaron's trying to hit my head. If you do it gently, it's not gonna hurt that much. Obviously, as you get more experience, you can increase the speed, guys. But we'll start off gently, so you're trying to hit my head. And what I wanna do is implement head defense. So let's look at the four slots of head defense. This is slot one, where you might get hit, okay? Let's go slot two, you lay back. Slot three, you get down. Slot four, you can go to your right. Slot five, you can go to the left, yeah? So do it this way so everyone can see. So I'm in my stance, and here, lay back. Right, left, look how I twist my body. So right, left, down, back, right, left, down, back. Those are your head slots, you've got to use your head slots, okay? Back, slip, slip, and now I'm combining my foot movement my foot movement, and I'm rolling, yeah, so we're gonna roll as well sometimes. We roll here, so roll, roll, pull, okay. You can practice pressure fighting, going forward and trying to slip and parry, moving forward. So you're trying to attack, I'm trying to slip and parry, my coming in, there, there, rolling, pow, trying to set up shots, okay. I can practice defense going back, so you move, back, back, there. But obviously, as we know, if we keep going back in a straight line, what's gonna happen? You're gonna end up there. So you gotta use your feet to move out of the way. Unless you want to practice being on the ropes. So you wanna practice staying on the ropes. Parry, shoulder, parry, pull, slip, there, there. I have sometimes used the stick by swiping it across, meaning my Boxer has to roll like this. This is a more advanced method of using it. So you might do a jab, boom, and you might do a hook, and that roll. Jab again, boom, there, roll, roll. So you have to watch lateral movement, and you have to watch from your peripheral vision as well, yeah? So for the sake of just demonstration, we're just gonna do a real-time freestyle now, yeah? Thank you. 
leverage. So just a closer look at the mechanism, just here, okay, just swipes. And yeah, that's, that's how we use it. We'll do a part two at some point, showing more advanced ways and methods of using it and how you can create uh, scenarios. If you want you to invent one yourself, all you need is a broomstick and a, and a boxing glove. And you can just imitate it like that, basically. Yeah. You know? I've seen people use a broomstick, uh, a boxing glove at the end, and a towel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just get a towel. The towel just slides off, off the part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know me, I tried to go for the best of everything, so I had to go for that one. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, so make sure you press that like button, subscribe, comment. Uh, let us know what sort of drills you want to see next. And thanks, Aaron, for coming down. Peace out.